Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the histology of mammalian small intestine. As you all know, small intestine is a long coiled structure of a 5 meter length. It extends between the pylorus part of the stomach to the colon of the large intestine. Small intestine has mainly three parts, that is upper duodenum into which the stomach opens, middle jejunum part, lower ileum part which opens into the colon of the large intestine. If we take a section of this small intestine, it has a large central lumen surrounded by a wall of the small intestine. And this wall of the small intestine made up of a four layer or four coats. That is mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa. We will discuss about these four layers one by one. First one is serosa. As you can see in this diagram, serosa is the outermost layer which is made up of thin layer of connective tissue surrounded by a layer of mesothelium. Mesothelium is nothing but the layer of epithelium. Inner to serosa is muscularis externa. Muscularis externa is made up of muscle fiber and these muscle fibers are arranged in two layers that is inner circular muscle fiber and outer longitudinal muscle layer. In between these two layers, a patches or cluster of ganglion is present and that cluster of ganglion supplies these two muscle fiber or muscle layer and that cluster of ganglion is known as or batches plexus. So that is about muscularis externa. Inner to muscularis externa is submucosa layer. As you can see in this diagram, this submucosa layer made up of loosely arranged connective tissue with the larger blood vessels and lymphatics. The submucosa of the duodenum region, that is this region, consisting of a special type of glands known as Brunner's gland or duodenal gland. And this Brunner's gland secretes mucus. So thereby it protects the inner lining of the duodenum from the acetic gastric juice. Acetic gastric juice will be secreted by the stomach. So from the stomach this gastric juice enters duodenum. So to protect the inner lining of the duodenum, this Brunner's gland or duodenal gland secretes mucus. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, this submucosa region also has cluster of ganglion and that cluster of ganglion is known as Meissner's plexus. So that is about submucosa layer. Inner to submucosa is a mucosa layer. Mucosa is the innermost layer of the small intestine. It mainly consists of three components that is surface epithelium, lamina propria and the muscularis mucosa. The mucosa layer of the small intestine forms a series of definite folds known as valvular connivence or plicae circulates or valves of Kirkring. They are nothing but the continuous or series of folds of the inner layer that is mucosa layer of the small intestine. On this valves of Kirkring or the entire surface, inner surface of the mucosa consisting of small finger like projection known as villi. These are the villi. I will discuss about the villi after explaining the three component of the mucosa that is surface epithelium, lamina propria and the muscularis mucosa. First layer is surface epithelium. Surface epithelium is the innermost layer of the mucosa and it covers the villi. As I already told, villi is nothing but the small finger like projection which is present on this valves of Kirkring or the entire inner surface of the small intestine. So this villi is covered by a layer of epithelium known as surface epithelium. Second layer is lamina propria. As you can see in this diagram, this is a lamina propria layer which consisting of connective tissue with a large number of blood vessels and the lymphoid cells. These lymphoid cells here and there forms a cluster or mass of the lymphoid cells known as lymph nodules. Large number of such lymph nodules are present at the lower part of the small intestine known as ileum. So ileum region consisting of a large number of lymph nodules and those lymph nodules are known as Peyer's patches. These Peyer's patches has 
mucus associated lymphatic tissue it is nothing but the lymph nodules having large or abundant lymphocytes and wbc and this malt or mucus associated lymphatic tissue protects the ileum part from the infection so that is regarding the lamina propria third layer is muscularis mucosa muscularis mucosa made up of muscle fiber which are arranged in two layer as you can see in this diagram this is a muscularis mucosa consisting of inner circular muscle fiber and outer longitudinal muscle layer that is regarding the three layers of mucosa that is surface epithelium lamina propria and muscularis mucosa as i already told the entire inner surface that is mucosa layer of the small intestine consisting of small finger like projection known as villi because of the presence of this small microscopic villi it gives a soft velvety appearance for the inner surface of the small intestine it also increases the surface area for absorption if you observe individual villi it mainly consisting of connective tissue covered by a layer of epithelium this is a diagram of individual villi which consisting of connective tissue covered by a layer of epithelium each villus supplied with the capillaries and the lymphatic vessels the lymph vessels which supplies each villus is known as lacteal lacteal is present at the center of the villi and this lacteal play a very important role in the fat absorption the epithelial layer which covers the villi is made up of a single layer of columnar cell and it consisting of mainly two types of cell that is absorptive cell and the goblet cells absorptive cells as you can see in this diagram are the long or elongated cell with the basal nuclei it also has tightly packed microvilli at the apical part of each cell which increases the absorptive surface of the each cell in between the absorptive cell goblet cells are present goblet cells are also known as mucus cell as the name indicates these goblet cells or mucus cell secretes a mucus which protects and lubricates the inner lining of the small intestine in between the two villi small tubular gland is present known as crypts of leperkin or intestinal gland intestinal gland or crypts of leperkin is nothing but the small simple tubular gland which is present between the two villi it extend up to muscularis mucosa these crypts of leperkin consisting of mainly four types of cell that is zymogen cell undifferentiated cell goblet cells and enteroendocrine cell we'll discuss these four types of cell one by one first one is zymogen cells zymogen cells are also known as panid cells these panid cells are present at the lower part of the crypts of leperkin and these panid cells produces lysozyme second type is undifferentiated cells as the name indicate undifferentiated cells are the stem cells they proliferate to produce goblet cells and absorptive cells of the villi so newly formed cells will migrate from the crypt to reach villi third type is goblet cells which is also known as mucus cells as the name indicate they produces mucus fourth type of cell is enteroendocrine cells these enteroendocrine cells are the group of cell which secrete some secretion it includes g cell which secretes gastrin argentafin cells which secretes serotonin i cell which secretes cholecystokinin s cell which secretes secretin enterochromaffin cells which secretes serotonin k cell which produces gastric inhibitory peptide so that is about different types of cell and different types of structure that is present in small intestine i hope this video will be useful if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you